All right, so we got the Corvette Z06 in here. We want to get it ready for the show because I just drove in the rain yesterday and it's just dirty. It's not looking right. It's not top notch. And we really need this Corvette just to really pop. And it's simple to do. When you have optimum no rinse by optimum polymer technology, you can simply wash your vehicle with four gallons of water and two ounces of product. Then we'll come back behind just to give it that extra pop and glow. We're gonna use Optimum Car Wax as our drying aid, and it's gonna really give it that final touch. So let's get to it, and I'll show you just how easy it is to use Optimum No Rinse with four gallons of water and two ounces of product in the big red sponge. And all you're doing is just gliding the sponge over the surface. You're not pressing, you're not scrubbing, you're allowing the product to do what it's supposed to do. And what that is, is that it's the emulsification and encapsulation. So most products on the market and what they do is they emulsify, but they don't go a step further to give you that extra protection. And that's what Optimum No Rinse does. It gives you extra protection when you go into the drying aspect of it too, because it not just emulsifies, but it encapsulates. And when it encapsulates, it's actually giving you a point of protection between the contaminants and the paint on your vehicle. So making it the safest way to wash your vehicle with just a few gallons of water. You can clean every surface with this. The glass, let's say you got some dirty seals in the door jams area, or even on the roof up here. <clears throat> we can clean that all simply with just a damp microfiber and clean it all up. And the nice part about this is I don't have the top on. We have the windows down. All I'm going to do is just go and wipe right near that surface and wipe past it. So I don't have to worry about getting the interior wet because we're not using a hose. We're not using a pressure washer. We're keeping it simple, but we're also keeping it ultimately safe. On average, I can wash a car rinseless with Optimum No Rinse 15 20 minutes. That's washed and dried everything from top to bottom, except for maybe the wheels. Sometimes, obviously, these are a little bit dirtier, might take a little more time. But you can seriously go through the process of washing your vehicle a lot easier. So today we're doing it inside because it's really, really sunny and hot down here in Florida. But if we wanted to, you have shade out in this area out inside where you got a carport. You can wash it outside if you want. But we're washing this today inside this shop. We're not making a mess on the floor. We're not going to have to squeegee it down or mop it up or have to clean up a big mess. I'm not going to get wet feet. Just wearing my good old boat shoes and cleaning the car. And the other thing is, is this car does have some vinyl wrap on it, as you can see. We can actually wash it with this. It's not going to harm that vinyl. Vinyl wrap safe, window tint safe, paint protection film safe, paint safe, clear coat safe, leather safe, glass safe. I don't know how much more safe you can get when you use Optimum No Rinse, but that's pretty dang safe.
So now that we've got this vehicle completely O&R washed, everything clean on the outside except for the wheels, we're gonna grab our drying towel and Optimum Car Wax as our drying aid. And we're gonna get into it and dry this up and really show you how we can make this red on this Corvette pop. And it's actually really simple. You don't need a lot of product. You're not gonna need a ton of product at all. It's simply just a Mr. Two. And then you're gonna take your drying towel and just wipe it over the surface. And as you can see, it just wants to be dried up. Flip it over, go back over once more just to make sure. And that's it. We're gonna continue on, do the rest of the vehicle here with the Optimum Car Wax as a drying aid and our microfiber as our drying towel. And we're gonna finish up this vehicle and show you just how easy it was to clean this vehicle and put wax on the surface as a drying aid. And that's it. We did this all in 30 minutes and I'll prove it to you here near the end. That's simple. Four gallons of water, two ounces of product of optimum no rinse, few mists per panel with a microfiber drying, waffle weave drying towel. This is the results. 30 minutes or less, the entire vehicle on the outside is clean. And if you want to go further, you can. Now with this water, mixture of optimum no rinse, I've also put in some microfiber towels. And with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use a rinseless wash to wipe down your wheels so that they are presentable just like the rest of your vehicle for the car show or the night out. So stay tuned here and I'll show you guys exactly that process. So one of the products that you can use besides Optimum No Rinse to clean up your wheels, let's say there's a lot of brake dust on there where you just really want to give yourself some sort of protection, let's use OptiClean. OptiClean is a waterless product for cleaning. Now, there is limitations, but the best part about this product here is it's got a lot more emulsifiers and encapsulators. So let's use this as a extra protection to clean these black wheels so we don't scratch them, mar them, or cause any type of damage. So let's get to it. Turn it on first. You just let that product sit for a little bit, let it dwell on the surface, emulsify, break things down, and then allow it to where we can have a safer clean when we do use Optimum No Rinse and a damp microfiber towel to wipe off all that residue and all that crap from the road and the brakes. And what's nice is while we're doing that, we can also just do a quick light clean on the outside faces of these wheels so we can put a little bit of a tire shine on them just to give them that clean look. We don't want anything too crazy on this. Um, we just want a nice clean look for it as a pre presentation. So we've let it actually dwell for a little bit. You can see the product kind of pulling itself together off of the surface. And that shows that we're actually emulsifying and breaking down all the contaminants on the surface of that. So we're actually getting some form of protection in between those. So now what you can do too, in your bucket, you can place some clean brushes. Give yourself a little bit of product in there. We're just gonna use that to clean around the lug nuts and the tighter areas. We just want to agitate. The product's already breaking all that stuff down. We just want a little bit of agitation so it breaks the dirt's clean on the surface. And then if you do have your tighter areas that you want to get to, you can use a brush as well. Then, also, you can go a little bit further. 
you want to get into the barrels a little bit, you can use a wheel woolly. A little bit of O&R on there, and you can actually get into the barrels and clean them up as well. Got a little product in there of OptiClean, so we don't have to worry about anything. Already breaking down and emulsifying all that dirt and grime. So depending on how deep you want to get in, you have one that you can do the front. If you want to get behind the rotor a little bit, you can also use a smaller one. Especially when you get near the caliper, you don't have as much room. So we'll just use this to clean up around that area. Lightly and safely. Just floss and floss. And what we can do too is clean up the caliper a little bit just to give it that extra little final pop. Now you may have to roll the vehicle back or forward just a little bit to get some of that extra areas that are behind the wheel, but you can get majority of it and that is what's going to help you out in the long run. So I'm going to set that off to the side here. Spray a little bit of this on here. And I'm going to continue on the bigger area here. That's that there. And for the rest, we'll take a nice damp optimum no rinse towel and wipe down the face. Getting into the grooves and all those tight areas. I would definitely wear gloves on this, just like I'm doing here, because your hands are going to be dirty afterwards if you don't. The hardest part is right around the valve stem. I just take and kind of stuff the towel in there and floss around it. And wipe the sides. Wheels are a task, especially when you have little intricate pieces. But the end result is always the best because everything just looks super clean and presentable. You don't want to be the guy at the car show that has clean a clean car but dirty wheels. You can also take Optimum No Rinse and put it into a spray bottle. And with that, you can actually have yourself a really good detail spray so that when you do get to the show and you have little things that you want to touch up, you can do just so safely and effectively and cost effective too. Got the wheel all cleaned up. Now let's just take our damp towel and wipe the face of the tire here. Just 
pretty dirty. I'll show you in another section. So if you don't believe me, take two is on its way here with it. That optimum no rinse can clean up a little bit of the surface of your tire to make it a little more presentable. So that towel is done. I'm not going to reintroduce it in here. So I want to keep this as clean as possible for as long as possible. Take a nice clean towel and spray a little car wax on here and car wax on the wheel. And then I'm just gonna take this and dry it all up. So you got a little bit of sealing on there, makes it where it's a little bit more difficult for it to get dirty so fast. So give yourself a little bit slicker of a surface so it stays cleaner a little bit longer. Spray wax gives it that nice warm glow for the car show, even on your wheels. It can bunch up the towel a little bit so you can get in where the lugs are. There are special brushes you can get to get in there, but not all the time do you have that just so readily convenient. Just take the tip of your towel, fold it into fourths, take this edge here and just tuck it in between the lug nut and the wheel and just go in a circular motion. And that's that. And if you want to, Dry the face of the towel just a little bit to help it to where it dries up faster and you can put a tire shine on it. Just take your towel and dry it up. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go and finish and do the rest of the wheels on this vehicle here. And at the end, this tire should be dry and ready to put some tire shine on it. So when we're done with the wheels, we can roll out and go to the show or any special event that you may have that you want your vehicle to look its best. So we've already gone over and did a quick O&R wash on this vehicle to show you guys that you can quickly prep your vehicle for any event or any occasion that you're gonna have. But putting this vehicle under the light, this car needs a little more TLC, just got some scratches, swirls, and other imperfections in the surface that are really hindering the overall appearance of this vehicle from really standing out. So we're gonna take it a step further. We're gonna break out the polisher, some hyper polish, and hyper compound revision number five, which will cut up to a thousand grit. So we're gonna use hyper polish to follow up after we do the revision number five of hyper compound as a primer polish because we are going to be coating this vehicle with OptiCoat Ceramic Coating Pro Plus to really enhance that final finish that we do come out with after doing this full process with polishing and paint correcting. So for that, I'm gonna get started and get myself plugged in. Stay tuned for some of the results as we go. So first off, we're gonna start with a heavy cut. We're gonna use the Hyper Compound Revision Number Five. This has got the right amount of braces in it to where you can get your cut up to a thousand grit, but also cut it back to a finish within a one step with this. And that's what we're gonna start off with. I'm gonna start off with my Optimum DA orange pad. Be working with Speed Four. And we're gonna apply some Hyper Compound here. Just a little bit to get over that pad. Always throw the cord over your shoulder so you don't 
cause more work for yourself. Tap it out and get started. Three to four passes, that simple. Just get in, cut it, get out. Now the next part, it's even better because I don't have to wipe off what I have there. I don't have to clean my pad. Just take your hyper polish, shake it up, give the spin on your polisher a little bit, give her one spray, and then get back to it. We can continue on, finish out polishing this section of hood. I wanna show you guys real quick so I can just get into it. Is I'm gonna take a damp O&R towel here. We have our polish residue on the surface there. But I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to remove the polish after you're done. Do that. And then if you're gonna be coating the vehicle, you're gonna to want to always have a prep point. So I use Optimum Paint Prep as a drying aid for the Optimum No Rinse that I wipe the polish off with. Just mist over the surface, grab your drying towel, and just give it a dry. And now that surface is prepped and ready to be ceramic coated with OptiCoat, ceramic coating of your choice. So now, I'm gonna get back to it. We're gonna get to cutting this thing and cutting it down and finishing out, bringing back that beautiful red color that comes on this Corvette. So stay tuned. As you paint correct on your vehicle, you are cutting away clear. And what that does is it also gets onto the pad surface and into the porosity of the foam. So what you wanna do is you wanna clean it. But also the other thing you're gonna be doing is cooling down the pad because when you are paint correcting, you are creating heat. So with that, we do have the pad washer and we'll go over to this to flush the cells of the foam and cool it at the same time so that we can continue on cleaning because once we have it clean it's like putting on a brand new pad and getting right back into it so 
Take a little bit of powder clean. Not a lot. Just get this a little bit of spin. Three sprays. Enough to break down the polish on that surface. So we turn the speed down to number two. And the reason is, is I want to actually work the pad over the surface and scrub and loosen up all that in the cells of the foam. Once you do that for a few seconds, give it a few pumps, and that actually shoots water up into the cells of the foam to help flush it and cool it. Now we did a nice scrub with that speed six on your polisher. A few more pumps. Lift it, run it for a few seconds, and now your pad is clean and cooled all at the same time. Because of the pad washer, we're able to continue on cutting like we have a brand new pad, but we haven't changed it out. So what we've done is save time and money all at the same time here. So now, I'm gonna get right back into it, cutting and polishing on this Corvette. All right, so we've done everything that's gonna lead up to our next step. We've washed this vehicle, we've deconned it, we've done a two-step paint correction on it because the paint was pretty beat up even though it did have a good gloss to it. So we want to really bring out that color more and that two-step is what's going to provide that overall beautiful finish. And we use the Hyper Compound and Hyper Polish. And with that, we're able to, in com combination, achieve a very optimal finish. And what we're gonna be doing is applying Pro Plus to this. And with Pro Plus, there is a little bit of a disclaimer. It is a professional only product. You have to be authorized or certified through Optimum and OptiCoat in order to purchase this product. And this is a seven year ceramic coating. It's the only two part system coating that we have where we lay down a base coat that gives us five years and then an additional two years with Pro Plus, which also brings out more of the color, gives us a higher gloss and higher slick surface. And like any other ceramic coating of OptiCoat, it's an SIC clear coat resin ceramic coating. So we're gonna get that high durability and high chemical resistance, providing years of protection on this 2016 Corvette Z06. So let's get started. Take the black tip off, put it to the side, grab yourself a blue tip. This is going to reduce how much product comes out. It's very important because we don't want to put too much product because then we're wasting it. We want to put the right amount because remember again, it's a clear coat resin product. So we don't need a ton, but we need what's right. And that is going to give us the best protection possible. Prime the pad. So got enough product on there and the way to really do it is doing side to side motions or up and down motions. The problem with that is, is that you're going to create every spot you stop more product laying in that area. So continual motions, circular motions is going to give you a very even application of the ceramic coating. And to make sure that you have enough product over the surface, always up it with 10 to 15 droplets as you're applying it so that you can make sure that you have enough because you want a 50 C, you want 50 droplets of product within a three foot by three foot area. It's very important because you want to make sure that you have enough product laid down because if you don't, you won't get that long term protection. And then grab your pearl weave towel here that's provided in the kit. You're just gonna wipe over the surface to make sure that the coating has leveled off so you don't have any high spots. 
And just like that, we'll move on to the next spot here. Finish out this fender. One of the things that you also want to do when you're doing Pro Plus especially, is you want to set a timer as soon as you start between 30 and 45 minutes. The reason is, is that you want to be starting to do Pro Plus within that realm because it's interlinking with each other. It's not stacking, it's interlinking. So we had to make sure that the first base coat doesn't cure beyond a certain threshold so that can actually accept the plus into that layer. And as I'm applying the coating, I'm watching it interlink and impregnate that clear so I can know when I need to level it. And then always working in an area to where I know where I'm at <clears throat> so I can start back up. So we're about 50% impregnated here on the surface. Now I'm just gonna take my towel and wipe it to level. this process you're just going to continue to repeat until you get done with the vehicle and then with that we'll come back and apply the Pro Plus and I'll be back with showing you guys how Pro Plus goes down because it is a little tricky and needs a little more attention to it but with a quick rundown of how it's applied you can easily apply it yourself too so stay tuned I'll be right back So we just finished up coating the whole entire vehicle with our first product that we're using, which is gonna be the OptiCoat Pro. Now, when you're done, you wanna save the foam applicator. You can actually take this and just put it in your O&R bucket and let that soak. That'll make it to where we break down the coating, it doesn't fully care, and you can use that for other things like doing interior pieces or applying protectants. Now I'm gonna take this blue tip off. I'm gonna reuse that on the Plus. I'm gonna right now push a little bit of this air out so we can save this product because we do have a little bit left. Take the black tip, put it back on snug. We're gonna take, grab our Pro Plus. All right, now we're gonna take the black tip off of the Plus. We're gonna take our blue tip and put that on. Now we're not gonna use the foam applicator because we want a little more glide with it. So what we're gonna use is the microfiber suede applicator. This does come in every warranty kit. So now we're gonna start right back where we start with the Pro because we wanna make sure that we have that time area for the application to be correct. And all we're gonna do is our primer pad, one line, two line, three lines, we're going to take the applicator. Now this coating you're not going to see go on. There's going to be a difference in feel. If you do see the coating, make sure you spread it out more. And as you go, you're going to take your leveling towel and level that section and area. And really what you're looking for is a slick feel. You can feel the give and the towel just sliding over the surface. But where there's pro or potentially high spots, it grips it and wants to kind of pull it out of your hand where Pro Plus gives it that higher gloss, higher slickness surface so we can just glide over, which is going to make cleaning your vehicle so much nicer. And just to continue on, you just simply up, up it with one little line, continue to spread the product over the surface. Need a little more product? It's just this simple. 
And then continue on the car, right in the same motion that you applied the pro. And then when you're done, you can set a timer so that we can put a topper on to protect it while it cures. So if you do choose to deliver the vehicle right away to the customer, you can because of this next step I'll show you after Pro Plus. All right, now I've got Pro Plus applied to this Corvette. It is feeling absolutely buttery smooth. And I'm getting a little anxious. I want to take it outside, take it for a stroll. And the only thing is, is right now we're in Florida and it's potentially going to rain at any moment. So what we're going to do is because this coating should cure for 12 hours before it gets wet, we are going to use OptiSeal. In one hour after application, minimum, apply OptiSeal. And then what you can do is let that cure for 30 more minutes. And it's going to seal up the surface, allow the coating to continue to cure below it, while protecting it so you can go out and enjoy it and if it does rain you don't have to stress about it all right guys like always like follow and share and i'll see you guys in the next video for now i gotta get back to work so let's do a real quick recap We've already went over and showing how easy it is to use Optum No Rinse to clean the vehicle and wash it and how fast it is to use that product. Now, we've went to that to show you the, now, all right. Ready? Okay. So let's go over a real quick, let's go over, let's do a real. Let's do a real quick recap. We went over and shown how quick and easy and efficient. <laughs> Take three million. <laughs> I know. So let's do a real quick recap. We went through and we did optimal no rinse What you. Are you done? <laughs> All right, try it again. <laughs> your, your studio for recording should be on that end. <laughs>